For today's launch, we assembled a short rocket from one of the Polaron G2 boosters. Now, we used the original nose cone and fins, which made it for a short, stubby rocket. We used a 16mm nozzle and a launch tube, as a 9mm nozzle would have just been too small. Here are some highlights from three of its flights today. Next up, we wanted to see if we could film a launch from the drone using the GoPro slow motion capability. So we designed and 3D printed this frame. The Phantom just sits on top of it and is secured with rubber bands. We still use the Phantom's gimbaled camera for framing and navigation, while the GoPro with its wide angle lens is just fixed. We first tried the frame by itself to see how well the Phantom would fly, and it really didn't have any problems. We then mounted the GoPro on the frame and as soon as the drone took off it started vibrating a lot. Now this would have made the drone hard to control and the video would have been unwatchable. There just wasn't enough cross bracing to stop it. Now running out of time before the launch we decided to just suspend the frame on four wires under the drone to stop the vibration. Coming up now is the flight of the Axion G6 rocket where we had a go at filming the launch in slow motion.
This is the real-time view from the drone's onboard camera. And this is the view from the GoPro. We didn't quite get the rocket in frame, but the video turned out okay. We would like to thank the New South Wales Rocketry Association and also John from Vortex Vision for the great drone footage.